Hello and welcome back. So in today's video we are going to be doing lab 47 that is configuring lockout policy. So lockout normally is for when fail login attempt. If you want to follow along here are the instructions. And by the way you can find a local uh, group policy editor on your Windows machine as well if it's like a uh, one is like when you yeah domain uh, domain versus a uh, workstation so if you have if you have set up as a workstation you can find it and set policies for your local uh, users oh it's a pretty long list of steps all right, so let's get started. We're gonna go this again, server manager. Tools and group policy management, pretty straightforward. Now you click the forest and you certify labs link group policy object so that would be under group policy link group policy i don't see make it a little bit bigger uh it should be log labs and domains and link group policy object right here so this is if you remember when one video I talked that you can link them so this is where from you link them you can and within there there is a wizard as well that you can follow and create a policy as well default domain policy is this one we're gonna click edit it alternately you can double click it and it should open up the edit window so add new lockout policy so I remember there was like a bunch of policies like by default that are not enabled you can simply in like add them or enable them you know Select now to be its description. So add new lockout policy is going to be from here. User configuration. Action. I think there are some steps missing. Let me figure this out because it's not showing it here. I'm gonna pause the video here. Alright, so I think it's poorly worded. Up to here, it's just your uh, wild goose chase from here this is a is how you do it so you have, don't have to do anything not this one we go back to the group management policy compute computer configuration uh, oh maybe it's here so it's in god So in here, it's computer configuration. Computer configuration, then policies, and windows. Windows settings. C 
security setting account policies security setting account policies and this is lock on locker policy so if it's not defined what you can do is so it's saying 60 minutes 3 valid and 30 minutes so here's what's happening define this policy setting it says 30 minutes account locked down locked out for 30 minutes right here we go apply now we can change these settings temporary we can press ok but here what happens is oh I'm sorry this should be 60 minutes 60 minute <coughs> and five invalid logon so it should be three and the last one is reset so account lockout duration is basically that how long the account will be locked out meaning that after three invalid attempts you type in your password three times wrong maybe you don't remember maybe the caps lock is on or the num lock is on or off depending and you did three attempts failed now your account is locked out for 60 minutes meaning for one hour so without contacting help desk you can simply wait it out and it, your account will be locked out for another try so reset account lockout counter is after 30 minutes so this is confusing because uh, normally what happened was that in like when we did that we will uh, advise the hey I have reset your password it might take 15 minutes for it to propagate through I, I'm thinking it's that setting I've never used it before I've just the devil with the first two maybe it's that now we are done here for this part seven examine other local policies again computer computer configuration policies window settings security setting local policies so this time we're going to go to all the way security settings and local policies user rights assessment and this this time what we're going to uh, this one uh, logging in remotely basically what happens is that you can allow or not allow uh, remote login login some of here this is some locally through remote this one so we have a process where our laptops are different than the a an area that they have their own assigned laptops so those are shared laptops our personal laptops they stay at our desk we don't take them everywhere wherever you go in that area what we do is we use those shared laptops those are secure so what we do is that from those shared laptops we remote desktop into our laptop that's on our desk and access everything whatever we need so this saves us from uh, like keeping a shoulder bag or your laptop around all the buildings wherever we're going we, we are free to move between buildings anywhere as long as on our carpet network we can simply log in but the thing is we cannot do the same from here or from our desk to that shared laptops that are in those areas what and this needs to be disabled in those uh, laptops so we cannot do it and rdp as well like in another way of doing is that uh, disable the rdp 
and this one is also if you want if you do not want some users uh, to not be able to use RDP audit policy right here so these are I believe for auditing for security like again log on events and these attempts like in what normally you would want failures failures would show that for security purpose uh, it depends if you are feeling that there is attacks on your network then you want to see failure and if the failure account is really high then you know yeah there is there was or there is an active attack going on all right so i'm gonna wrap this video here i hope this video has helped you if it has Please rate, comment, subscribe and share and I see you in the next one.